State representative is sounding the alarm on Georgia's elevator inspection process. This comes after a student athlete was crushed and killed in an elevator that allegedly had not been inspected since August of 2019. Tonight, CBS 46 exclusively obtaining video showing the moments before the accident happened. CBS 46's Crystal Bowie digs into the law that changed the entire process on elevator inspections. Crystal. Rick and Sean, it seems some of these inspections for the elevators are long overdue. It used to be that elevators had to be inspected twice a year until a recent law made it just once. Top of the elevator collapse on them. Can we please? Okay. Four, four, four Highland Avenue. Jamarcus McFarland died when an elevator inside 444 Highland crushed him. A certificate inside the elevator shows last inspected in August of 2019. That set off alarm bells for me. State Representative Matthew Wilson voted no last year when elevator inspections changed from six months to 12. And it raises a lot of questions that I think uh, a lot of people are going to want answers to and Georgians deserve answers to. The Office of the Insurance Commissioner said they simply didn't have the budget, estimating only 35 percent of elevators in Georgia could be inspected every six months. Right now they're rushing, they're going out in the job and there's more detail that they need to spend on those jobs so they'll be able to do it a more thorough review and catch a lot more checkpoints. At that point, there were already concerns. For us to change the law merely because uh, there are too many elevators and we're not going to fund uh, a budget to hire 20 more elevator inspectors, that just was not uh, good enough rationale for me. Insurance Commissioner John King says property management must first request an inspection from his office. The property owner ought to look at the code section, at the responsibilities. They have clear responsibilities to call our agency for the annual inspections and not only the five year inspections. Now, when we pressed for answers, management here actually said that they believed it was the state's responsibility to conduct the inspections and that they also thought that the inspections weren't happening last year because of COVID. Reporting live in Atlanta tonight, Crystal Bowie, CBS 46 News. Thank you, Crystal.